Counter-event planning in PSYOP. In a reaction situation, when the opponents have committed some action, and you take retaliatory actions, the planning of these actions is conducted according to the following scheme. Analysis of the enemy's actions. What theme does percussion material exploit? Explanation. Identifying the underlying subject or topic the opponent's content targets. Importance in PSYOP. Understanding the theme helps formulate specific responses aligned with the subject. It also aids in identifying the most likely target audience and the intended emotional or behavioral effect. What technique is used for manipulation? Explanation. Identifying manipulation methods, such as fear-mongering, appeal to authority, or misinformation. Importance in PSYOP. Recognizing the manipulation techniques helps craft countermeasures to neutralize the effect and can be used to expose the enemy's tactics. Who is the target audience of the attack? Explanation. Defining the demographic or group targeted by the enemy's content. Importance in PSYOP. Understanding the target audience helps tailor countermeasures that resonate with the affected group, considering their values, beliefs, and susceptibilities. Purpose of the attack. Explanation. Determining the underlying goal or objective of the enemy's operation. Importance in PSYOP. Recognizing the purpose assists in assessing the potential impact of the attack and developing strategic countermeasures to thwart the intended goals. Estimation of consequences, hazard assessment, threats. Comparison of audience receptivity with the effectiveness of shock content. Explanation. Assessing how the target audience's receptivity aligns with the effectiveness of the shocking content. Importance in PSYOP. Helps in estimating the potential success of the enemy's operation and allows for the design of interventions suited explicitly to the audience's susceptibilities. Assumption of impact on the audience. Explanation. Predicting the likely reactions or behaviors the target audience may exhibit because of the enemy's content. Importance in PSYOP. Guides the development of countermeasures that address the enemy's influences psychological and behavioral aspects. Development of countermeasures. How and how to neutralize the impact in the forehead. Explanation. Develop strategies to confront and neutralize the enemy's actions directly. Importance in PSYOP. Direct neutralization can be a swift and effective method to counter immediate threats by targeting the source or content of the attack. How and how can the impact be neutralized indirectly? Explanation. 
creating indirect strategies to counteract the enemy's influence without directly engaging with the content. Importance in PSYOP. Indirect methods offer alternative ways to significantly diminish the enemy's influence when confrontation might escalate the situation or be less effective. The points above outline a systematic process for analyzing, predicting, and responding to an enemy's psychological operations. Each step is critical to understanding the enemy's approach and developing tailored countermeasures to mitigate the intended effects. This approach is vital in the modern landscape of information warfare, where understanding and responding to an opponent's strategies requires an adaptive and multifaceted plan. At the analysis of enemy actions stage, it is necessary to understand what precisely the enemy has done. To do this, study the identified shock content, message, and understand what idea, topic, the enemy wants to convey to the audience. Having understood this, we can assume who exactly constitutes the target audience of this information operation. There may be several audiences, and their impact may differ. And based on this understanding, it is possible to predict the purpose of the enemy's information operation. To determine the purpose of the information operation, you need to compare the susceptibility of the target audience with the features of the shock content used by the enemy. Understanding the shock content. What is the idea or topic? Ideas or topics involve identifying the underlying message or theme the enemy wants to convey. Recognizing this helps to pinpoint the specific propaganda or misinformation strategy employed. Who is the target audience? Understanding the intended recipients of the message is crucial. There may be multiple audiences, each potentially affected differently, which requires different response strategies. Predicting the purpose. By understanding the message and target audience, it is possible to infer the overall objective of the information operation, whether to instill fear, change opinions, or incite actions. Assessing the danger. After understanding the purpose, the next step is to evaluate the potential impact of the operation by comparing the audience's susceptibility with the characteristics of the shock content. Accessibility of shock content determines if the content reaches the audience through the channels they frequent. The effect will likely be minimal if the target audience does not access the sources. Understandability of material analyzes if the content is framed in a language, symbols, or meanings the audience can understand. A misalignment here can reduce the content's effectiveness. Potential rejection assesses if the content may cause an adverse reaction due to taboo topics or animosity toward the author. A negative response could backfire on the enemy's intentions. Audience's agreement with the point of view examines the degree to which the target audience shares the perspective presented. If the audience is sympathetic to the viewpoint, the content might have a more profound impact. The analysis of enemy actions stage in PSYOP is a nuanced and multifaceted process that forms the foundation for devising appropriate countermeasures. By understanding the shock content's theme, target audience, purpose, accessibility, understandability, potential rejection, and alignment with audience views, practitioners can gauge the likely success of the enemy's information operation and plan an adequate response. This in-depth analysis is essential in the modern landscape of information warfare, where rapid and precise reactions to misinformation and manipulation are vital to safeguarding the integrity of information and influencing the audience in a positive direction. Strategically designed countermeasures neutralize or mitigate the effects of an enemy's information attack. The process emphasizes identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities in the enemy's content and sources. Vulnerabilities of the enemy's strike content. Identifying weaknesses within the content itself provides avenues to counteract or discredit the information. Presence of deception in content. If the content contains misleading or false information, it can be exposed, discrediting and undermining its impact on the target audience. Deception in the author's history. If the author has a history of deceit or bias, highlighting these can discredit the specific content and the enemy more broadly by undermining their credibility. Incomprehensible content. 
If the content is confusing or poorly articulated, pointing out its lack of clarity can discredit the enemy by portraying them as incompetent or foolish. Unpleasant content for the audience. Use content that may be offensive or unpalatable to the target audience against the enemy. The enemy portrays as insensitive or unintelligent by highlighting how the content may be distasteful. Vulnerabilities of the enemy's content source. Examining the source of the content can also reveal weaknesses used in countermeasures. Deception in the source's history. Using history can undermine its credibility if the source has previously engaged in deceptive practices. Obscurity of the source. If the source is unknown or lacks legitimacy, emphasizing its obscurity can further weaken its credibility and the trust the target audience might place in it. Belonging of the source to the enemy. Knowing the direct affiliation of the source with or bias toward the enemy, revealing this connection can help discredit the source and the content it disseminates. Developing a counteraction scenario. Tailor a counteraction plan with the understanding of these vulnerabilities. This involves determining what to communicate. Based on the identified weaknesses, decide what messages will effectively neutralize the enemy's content. Sequence of delivery. Convey the messages to maximize their impact. Intensity of delivery. Choose the appropriate level of forcefulness or subtlety in the communication to match the target audience's receptiveness and the severity of the threat. Developing countermeasures in PSYOP is a nuanced process requiring a deep understanding of the enemy's content and source. By identifying and exploiting both vulnerabilities, practitioners can devise effective strategies to neutralize the enemy's information operations. This process is essential for protecting the target audience from manipulation and guiding them toward a more informed and resilient understanding of the situation. It reflects modern psychological warfare's strategic depth and complexity, where information and perception are vital battlegrounds. Top of form. First, you need to go through the vulnerabilities of the enemy's operation. Discrediting the shock content, its author, delivery channel, or source allows you to neutralize the negative impact on the attacked audience quickly. If there are no vulnerabilities, then we move on to indirect influence, conducted using the following technologies. Identifying and utilizing vulnerabilities. The first step in countering the enemy's operation is to meticulously analyze their content, author, delivery channel, or source to identify weaknesses or vulnerabilities. Exploit found vulnerabilities swiftly to discredit the enemy's effort, thereby quickly neutralizing the negative impact. Techniques for indirect impact. When finding no apparent vulnerabilities, employ indirect methods. These are sophisticated techniques that do not confront the enemy's content head-on but work to undermine it in more subtle ways. Ridicule. This involves mocking or making fun of the enemy's content or intent, which can diminish the content's seriousness and reduce its persuasive power. Bringing to the point of absurdity. By exaggerating the enemy's claims or ideas to the absurdity, you can make their arguments appear illogical or nonsensical thereby discrediting them. Trolling. This tactic involves engaging the enemy in a way that provokes or confuses them, often through humor or irony. It can distract them and lead them into defensive positions that expose further weaknesses. Distraction. Redirecting the audience's attention away from the enemy's content to something else can minimize the impact of their information. Distract the adversary by introducing new topics, debates, or controversies. Modification involves altering the enemy's message or presenting it in a new context that changes its meaning. Use modification to reduce the effectiveness of their message or turn it against them. Importance of indirect methods. The explanation emphasizes the ineffectiveness of direct opposition, often referred to as a fool-fool himself scheme. The reason for this ineffectiveness is that a natural attacker typically has an advantage due to the impact of the first impression. The initial content may have already taken hold when formulating a direct response. Managing lost time. When losing time responding, it is essential to focus on mitigating the consequences of the negative impact on the audience rather than trying to discredit the original content. 
Mitigation can involve employing the indirect methods mentioned above or other strategies to control damage and reorient the audience's perception. In PSYOP, effective countermeasures require strategic insight into the enemy's content and tactical flexibility to respond appropriately. Understanding the content's vulnerabilities and knowing when and how to deploy indirect methods are critical for neutralizing the enemy's influence. The techniques described illustrate the complex interplay of offense and defense in the psychological battlefield, where nuance, timing, and adaptability determines success or failure. Top of Form A detailed guide for planning counter-events within psychological operations, PSYOP. Let me break down the concept, explaining each section in detail. Counter-event planning in PSYOP In the context of PSYOP, counter-event planning is a structured approach used to neutralize or mitigate the impact of an enemy's psychological or information operation. Analysis of the enemy's actions This stage involves a careful examination of the enemy's tactics and strategies, focusing on four primary areas. Theme. What topic is the enemy exploiting? Technique. What manipulation techniques are used? Target audience. Whom are they trying to influence? Purpose. What is the goal of their attack? Estimation of consequences. Here. The planner assesses potential hazards and threats from the enemy's actions. Comparison of audience receptivity means assessing whether the content is accessible, understandable, and acceptable to the audience and whether they share the viewpoint presented. Assumption of impact means redirecting how the audience might respond or react to the information. Development of countermeasures The last stage is formulating a response to neutralize the enemy's impact. Two approaches are defined. Direct neutralization involves identifying and exploiting the vulnerabilities in the enemy's content, author, or source to discredit them. Indirect neutralization. When finding no vulnerabilities, indirect methods like ridicule, absurdity, trolling, distraction, and modification diminish the enemy's influence. Summary of counter-event planning in PSYOP The entire process is highly systematic, involving deep analysis, prediction, and development of tactical responses. Understanding the enemy's objectives and strategies allows for an effective response, either by discrediting the enemy or neutralizing their impact using non-direct methods. The goal is to minimize the enemy's influence on the target audience and, when losing time, address the negative impact's consequences. This approach recognizes that psychological operations are complex and multifaceted, requiring a nuanced and adaptive response that considers not only the enemy's actions but also the sensitivities and susceptibilities of the target audience. Therefore, counter-event planning in PSYOP is essential in the broader context of information warfare, cyber warfare, and influence operations. Top of Form